Good afternoon, everybody. Rob's here again. We're going to be out crappie fishing today. And, uh, this is going to be the best post to the video. Intro. So, I'm recording this after we're done fishing. So, um, today, what I'm going to be showing you is sort of how when the bite, when the crappie won't bite or the bite's really slow, how these uh, crappie nibbles can really come out and help you. Berkeley's power baits, just little pink marshmallows here. And uh, they seem to do the trick today. So I think uh, I think all we can do now is just watch the video. Stick around. here oh that's what we got yeah Caught Moby. Moby. I'm gonna try the glow green. Yeah. And I'm gonna put a nibble on it. There he is. Thank you so. You still got one? Number one crappie. One in the bucket. There he is. Hit it on the fall, too. I'm here. Two in the bucket. He ate the disco gold. There he is. There's one. Another good crappie. The nibbles, man. Another good one. Let's put them in the bucket. I haven't been struggling out here today. Until I brought the old crappie nip. What's out? Another one. This might be a real good one. Yeah, that's a chunk. Yeah. 
we're gonna bump him. Ten. Ten. In the bucket. You want some nibbles? There's another one. This might be a bass though. No. Good bluegill. I tell you what, you know where he's going? Right in the bucket. There he is. This, uh, this might be a bass. I don't know, but he's not fighting like a, yep. It's cause I got him foul hooked. That's why he's not fighting normal. Oh, dude, it's a freaking slab crappie, dude. Oh, there is no way. Look at this, dude. I can't believe. What the heck? How do you even catch I, that? I felt the thump and I ripped. I wonder if he spit it. Or they're just swiping at it. And yeah, bumping it or something. something. Look at that. That's hilarious. That is crazy. Well, I'll unhook him, I guess. That's a good one, though. Pretty white. Barely, you can barely see the stripes. Yep. That's a good one. That's fun. Right. Wonder if he goes 11. What's that? Good fish. He's got some good shoulders on him. I know. There's something here. The trophy. Jumping like a bass fish. You ain't no bass fish. That's really a good one. Ghost Hunter. Dude, he double inhaled it. He ate both my jigs. Nice. Impressive. I pulled that one out of his mouth. And he's got my other one. Bass. I don't know if I... Yep, I just got one too. We're doubled up. Ghost Hunter. They're just freaking on fire right now. Good fish. I bet he goes 10. Ten and a half. Any luck it. Ten and a half. Yeah, I'm just about. Good fish. These are all good fish. I've had no dinks, dude. I've had some that are like kind of not fat, but they were long. There's another 
there's another one. Oh, chunker, dude. That is a good fish. Ten and ten and a quarter. There's another one. This one might be the tiniest one of the day. I bet it is. No, it ain't bad. But when all your fish you're catching are 12 and 13 inches, a 10 inch fish is kind of small. Okay, so as you just saw there, um, kind of struggling with just the jigs. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with kind of the brand or the type or anything. But sometimes crappie just uh, they slow down; they don't want to bite. So sometimes you got to give them a little extra, whether it's some jig juice or some uh, nibbles. So today I used nibbles again, so the power baits. So we uh, we really hammered them, being awesome did. So actually, let's check out. Good ones. Okay, so here's our best ones of the day here. Four good crappie. So I'm gonna take these inside and clean them up. Put these guys in the freezer. So um, as you can tell, guys, the crappie nibbles worked. That was good. This is a real good one right here. That's the one I shoulder hooked. I don't know how. I did. So I'm gonna get these guys inside, cleaned up, put them in the freezer. So, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.